set the alarm for about quarter to four. Got up, pulled a pair of trousers and a pullover on over the pyjamas on the bike along Windmill Avenue to the lab. As I cycled to the school, I thought, will Derek be there? Is there too much moonlight? Shall we see it? Will it transmit? I suppose getting up at uh, four in the morning to listen to radio signals isn't everybody's idea of a normal occupation, but it seemed quite logical to us at the time to do this. I'd become accustomed to making visual observations of satellites, looking at them as they went like slowly moving stars across the sky. Would I see it tonight? I can remember the, the picnics very well. Uh, we all used to pile into the car, and uh, there was a great excitement about getting into the car because we didn't have a car at the time, and just going for a ride was exciting enough. And we'd have a, a nice picnic when we got there, and Mr. Perry would play ball games with us, usually football or cricket. We'd be sitting there talking, and suddenly he's gone. He's off listening to bleeps. If we go away, he's got a receiver in the caravan with him. He's got books full of figures of every satellite that's ever been launched. What's it for? Well, at first, it was to interest the boys. It does that all right. Mine are always on about it. But Jeff and Derek Slater, it's as if they feel something's going to happen. They've even got me thinking something's going to happen, though I can't imagine what. The game of cricket was exciting enough, uh, the fact that we were there, all, all of us playing cricket, but Mr Perry would uh, go to great lengths to explain how the whole idea of seam bowling is to use the friction of the ball as it passes through the air, and the, the bowlers would polish one side of the ball to make it slip through the air faster than the other side, and therefore it would swerve in the air as, as they delivered the ball. Tea time! 
And I'd never understood why these bowlers polished the ball on their trousers so vigorously before. Come on, boys, tuck in. Tell me the times of the orbits. I could put lunch on a bit earlier or a bit later instead of keeping things warm. Much better still, I could stay at school for lunch. I'd be on the spot then, all right? Yes, all right. What? No ham? We first started involving pupils in the observations with the girls that came from Kettering High School to do physics and chemistry. They had nowhere to go in their spare time because they only took three A levels instead of four. You heard that new song? What, by Susan Moore? Oh, what song's that? Bobby's Girl. I know all the words. Well, go on then, give us a song. Tell her. Come on. I wanna be boom, boom. Bobby's Girl. I wanna be boom, boom. Bobby's Girl. <laughs> That's the most important thing to me. And if I want Why are you here? Sir, we're waiting for chemistry second lesson. We don't take practical maths. Yes, yes, I'm well aware of that. But why are you in the cloakroom? Well, they haven't told us anywhere else we can go. And it's raining out there. Well, you had better come and wait in the physics lab. And another day when they were sitting there sort of doing their work, I said to them, if that thing starts to make a noise, just note the time by the clock. So the first pupils to do observations were really girls from Kettering High School. And over the period up until about 1963, all the pupil observations were done by these girls. When the girls were no longer available, I still needed some slave labour to make the routine observations. And so I invited selected pupils to help me with the hobby. And that was the origin of a satellite group. The Logging of all the data was not really all that hard. It was just a, uh, just a lot of facts and figures to be recorded. Mr. Perry made this interesting. It could have been very tedious, but it was... Mr. Perry brought home to us the, uh, the necessity of recording vast amounts of data in any scientific experiment. There's a lot of data to be recorded before you can make any interpretation of that data. Well, they certainly were uh, a cheap form of labour, and they were able to fill in gaps when you weren't there. They unconsciously absorbed your technique. They, 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 they were learning without knowing that they were learning, and this is the way in which one should learn. If you say to a lad, come on, lad, I'll teach you something, he'll rebel, particularly in his dinner hour. When did you, sir? Oh, in a minute or two. Sir, how do we know if there are men in it? That bleeps fairy. Oh. By George, I think he's got it. I don't know why he keeps hanging around. He's not very bright. And you only like the bright ones. Oh, don't we all? It's such a pain, the other kind. Sir, have the Russians announced it yet? No, it's not been on the news yet. They always wait for at least one orbit. Sir, will we hear the men talking? Yes, with any luck. If we don't, I'm going to kill myself. I've sweated blood over this. 